Hi, welcome back to Circuits with Angel. Today we will learn about push buttons. I made this video because when I was making my video on switches, I realized that this unique type of switch needed its own separate video. So I will start off by telling you there are two different ways a push button go in a circuit and how we use it most of the time in our circuits. This is probably the most important thing you will learn about a push button until we get more advanced and get new types of push buttons. So you might want to pay attention to this. We can use a push button like this, either straight down from one of these little bumps to the other or across. If you hook up your circuit so it is a straight down connection, it is automatically on. And when you push the push button, it stays on. When some different push buttons, they turn off when you push them. Connected across, the circuit is automatically off. And when you press the button, it turns on and completes the circuit. We will be connecting our circuits this way, most of the times anyways. Push buttons are just different types of switches, so they look pretty similar if you want to know how they actually work on the inside. We usually mount our push buttons over the DIP gap when we use them, but in circuits, like the capacitor circuit I did a while ago, they can be placed directly into any row on the breadboard. You have to make sure that these ones with the four legs fit in really nicely. They have a tendency to pop out if you don't put them in really nice. You can get ones that don't pop out, but those ones only have two legs instead of four. And I don't think we'll be using those in our project. I'm going to make a circuit using a push button now and show you how to make this component work in real life. First, we will make the push button circuit we usually make in experiments. I cannot show you the automatically off one because I do not have the proper push button. I just want you to be aware that is there is one that can be automatically on. We use the push button for just switching a circuit on and off, like a switch. But the big difference is that it can be automatically on or automatically off. This is a big thing since you want to have options when you make a circuit. Now, let's go over the important points in this video. One, there are different types of push buttons, those that can be automatically on or automatically off. Two, we mount the push button on the DIP gap in sideways so we can see the legs going into the breadboard rows. Three, remember that the push button works diagonally on the breadboard. You can see the picture down below. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.